Welcome back to the playthrough of Pathologic 2. As stated before, I do flag all my videos as ASMR because a lot of people like listening to my voice. If that is not ASMR for you, then feel free to leave at this point. Just at some point, like when it becomes a pure starvation simulator, like it loses out. When you when you manage to like bork your save file so much that you're just running from starvation to starvation. That doesn't necessarily add to it. And you like, you spent the whole day trying to find food. Well, you know you can't. Exactly, and that's where I decided to just like, reset. Because if you prepare correctly, it's not a starvation simulator and you can actually like experience the story a bit more. This guy looked like he wanted to beat me up. Ah, oh, man's got food. But I don't really have anything to offer. What about this guy? He also got food. But I only have four trades. What can you repair? Boots. I would love to have repaired boots, but I, I don't even know where to get these items. I guess it's alright. Let's save. Save first and get our, our rations. A slab of meat. Love to see it. Some extra pills, also nice. A tourniquet, also nice. Apple, even more food. We just don't get any any bone antibiotics. That's slightly annoying. What's going on here? Aglaya is busy. Now is not the time to see her. She didn't want to see me yesterday either. Interesting. Here to get coupons? Yes. This is like actually really funny. Like they literally give out two coupons or something per person. And there is not a single food in this game you can buy for two coupons. Was your bond doing any big deaths? I... Uh, I think I think that, that is an understatement, like everyone is dead. Murky dead, Notkin dead, Bad Grief dead, Lara dead, Ruben dead. Victor is probably pretty soon dead. Eva, Maria, Peter and Andre dead. Julia infected. Aspity also infected. I think I should save Aspity since there's only a, a single blood character. I think I need to save them. It seems necessary. Because mm, look at this. Two apples, one army ration left. We got a slab of meat. I think we should be fine for the day, at least, with these. Uh... I could be nice. Let's let's go save Aspity. I, I have a feeling that Aspity is kind of necessary. I might be wrong, though. We can also, like, check what kind of groceries we can buy. Let's look at this. Bread for 35. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, what are these prices? If I... If I offer six of those, I can get the bread. I don't know if that's worth it. Well, I guess. It's the only thing we can eat whatsoever. Could also just get two apples. Instead. I'm a bit worried that we cannot fit the bread anywhere. We can just eat it, I guess. Yep. 
that works. So, okay. Now we try to get back home, I guess. I'm kind of out of ideas of what, how to, how to even get some progress at this point. I feel like I'm not getting any closer with the cure. What about you? What's that noise? Stop it. I thought someone's following me, but apparently she she seems to make that noise on her own. Oh, this not this is not even a black district. I don't even need to be that jumpy. This, however, is a black district. So we just run through, I guess, straight. Yeah, let's drink before. Well, let's drink before we do get our stamina back. Just in case we need it. Which is uh, quite likely. I thought so. Also, we need to find some younger kids so we can trade. That would be very useful. We'll assume this guy tries to attack me. Yeah, I can see the problem. And this might be a dead end. I might be fucked. I could enter here. Wait, maybe I can loop them. Yeah. He's fucking camping the gate, the dickhead! Oh my god. Oh, unlucky. There we go again. At least we saved quite recently. Nice meeting you, fellow traveler. How's it going? Enjoy the play. What are you doing here? The director went out to have a smoke, got exhausted watching you torture. So here I thought about how about I pay a visit to my fellow traveler. You must be exhausted from this unique vision. Uh, I've seen worse. Listen, fellow traveler, I have a proposal. Now I'll be blunt. Would you like to stop all this torture, the punishment, the hunger, the pain, the divine plagues of Egypt, Egypt you endure for each new death? What do you mean? Exactly what I meant. I'll replace you. I am itching to act. You'll become strong again. No more hunger pangs. The, the bony monstrosity we've all seen out on the square will van vanish. And you'll no longer be punished for mistakes. You're about to perish. Without a single achievement. Look how pale you are. No offense. How would you even achieve this? By strangling the director? And you want my soul in exchange, of course. Now I'm a light technician here. Lighting the way, so to speak. And Immortel will listen to me. Don't you worry about that. All you need to give is your consent. No soul required. Alright, so what's the catch? Don't say there isn't one. If we strike this deal, you'll be free to die as much as you can bear. You can become death's next door neighbor, so to speak. But in exchange, you'll you lose something. Something big and important, and I won't tell you what it is. It might hurt incredibly, or not at all. I already know that I can't take this deal. And here you were saying you didn't want my soul? I just don't know what actually will happen. Pull the cloth out of your brains and think about it hard. These aren't just words. I'm taking something from you, the real you. No huge loss, though, maybe. But you'll be free to walk the town, take risks, get into fights, be daring. No deal, you want to take something, the absence of which would turn any victory to ash. I don't know what, but I sense it. No deal, tedious bullshit is better than the fear of uncertainty. Are you sure? I'll only offer once. You won't be able to change your mind or rewind time. The choice you make now will stay with you until the end. I will manage with our shady proposals. Yonak then, my fellow traveler. See you around. Very bad things, but, but what actually will happen? Like, I'm... I'd actually love to know. My path was called... I didn't even know that we can find people here, honestly. Kindness guided me. But I could have never known I was to meet my father's murderer. 
My path was called larger than life. There isn't a single boundary I haven't broken. I've done everything I ever wanted to. My path was called the Calligrapher. They wouldn't let me forget what I'd done. But they couldn't kill me. That means this is just the beginning. Does this place actually exist out of time though? So are we free to speak with everyone? My path was not called the spider. No. Think wider. It was the silkworm. At the end of a railroad, I pulled strings firm. Unawares, someone more cunning pulled mine upstairs. Okay. Cool. A cunning linguist. Well, there's some there's another guy. I didn't see them. My path was called the Return of Magic. I wanted the power to create a place of miracles and precious anarchy. Cool. Okay. So we have to go to the shop again. I think that's the one thing we need to re replay. And I assume we get like a little bit less health. Just as you save the town, the game suddenly comes to a stop and you're directed to the theater. Mark scolds you for not going through his intended vision. You're told that your ending is now invalid and you're fired from the play. The end, the guy took your ending and your glory and killed everyone. <laughs> that is That is actually a funny, a funny way to do it. I never was here. I just noticed. What is this even? Kinda, I'm kind of resistant to go inside. Well, can I can I sleep here? I can't. What's the what's the point of this place? I guess I'll find out in the future. But th that that's really a very rough a rough penalty there. Uh. Okay. Bye. Okay, we take the deal again. We're not trading at a loss here. I don't. I don't see why we would. Um, then we immediately eat it. We just need a safer way home. And we should be fine. Just a little bit safer way home. I could go the long way around, I guess. I kind of want to save... The fuck is with you, dude? I, I kind of want to save Julia, but I, I, I have a... An idea that, that, like, the step healer would be more important. What are you doing, step healer? Leave me. I don't want to be stabbed again. You filthy creatures. This, is, But this is not a black district. It's still night, right? So chances are... They still want to kill me. Can't wait to see the Bachelor playthrough of this game. Yeah, someone someone uh, wrote me that in, my, in, in the YouTube comments. Like, I have the full playthrough on YouTube, or rather, there's like a new video out daily, um, that they are like implementing Daniel's playthrough in a year or something. I'm lacking, I'm lacking space. I'll definitely replay it then, though. Like, I'm, I'm definitely down to, to replay the game, in that case. I 
How do it, how did I not get the information that this district is infected? Well, I guess I'd rather go through a dis through an infected district than through a black one at this point. Like you just die too quickly to infect it uh, to to black districts. They stab you twice. And never mind. I don't know why I got didn't get infected by that, but we'll take it. I need to go around. Dude, pathfinding is so rough in this game. Why is pathfinding so rough? In the first game, he had a fair bit easier than Artemy. So I hope it may be the same. His survival mechanic were never as harsh as he was rich, at least in day one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested in playing the first one, but also if it has even more text than this one. Uh, it seems like an exhausting adventure. The map design is, is quite something, definitely. What is that? No guards. Has the termitary been opened? If so, where's the crowd of survivors? Oh, shit. That's probably bad news, I would assume. The first one guides you even less and it's easy to fail completely because you clicked the wrong dialogue option. That's unfortunate. The fuck is this? Wasn't this the entry? No. Apparently not. Apparently not. Maybe next side. Oh, is this the entry? Yeah, let's go. I'm not sure if we should even be in here, honestly. I have a feeling that we shouldn't go in here. Yeah... On the other side, I'm curious. Yes? 7,000 dead, more or less. Did you count? Yes, I have not seen so many corpses since the Battle of the Fords. Are there survivors? Can't you hear the screams? There must be, but it hardly matters. You feel sorry for them? I should say that I deserve more pity than they do. This is my death sentence, I believe, but oddly enough, it's them I think about. Even though they're beyond help. Death sentence? Why? I'm an inquisitor. I exist to solve clearly defined problems. If this time survives, so will I. This mission is my last chance to prove my utility. If I fail, let's just say I am not in good standing at the moment. I expect no lenience. Does that mean the territory is unlocked now? Can the survivors come out? No, not yet. Too early. So, why is that? Our responsibility is not to the town, but to the world at large. I currently kept safe by your quarantine. And those people won't stay in the town. They'll scatter. They're not attached to this land. Land Earth is the one thing they are attached to. Let them go. I'll think about it. But I won't believe the Olgimskis assurances any longer. And who else could give me those? You? What's their word, Emshin? Perhaps it will be me. On the other hand, wait, don't interrupt me, I'm thinking, stand by. Fine, have it your way. I am relieving the guards, the gate will be unlocked. I think I know an even better way to play this card. That was brutally honest. Where are you going? Upstairs. I have to find Overseer Tychik. Don't bother searching, Tychik is dead, although I heard his daughter survived. What? Tychik is dead? Are you surprised? No, but there's one more tether snapped. Yet again, I find myself with questions no one can answer. The termitary has been devoured by the deceased. Tachik is dead. The kin have truly become orphaned. What does this mean for me? Tara might be upstairs. Uh. So how did the deceased get inside this place?
The constant screaming kind of makes me anxious. Yeah, I think that is by design, honestly. I think it is supposed to make you feel bad. To make you feel anxious. Like, it is a plague simulator after all, isn't it? And so much for the fact that worms don't get infected, huh? This one didn't look very healthy. We don't exactly know how... I, I mean, they said upstairs. Let's just assume that's, like, the maximum upstairs we can get. I, I think this game does a really good job at, like, making making the screams kind of credible, even though it is a, a clearly defined loop of screams. But it, it's good screams. I don't know, that, that sounds kind of awkward if I say it like that. But it, it is, like, it is credible screams, even though they are looped. Loot. Any... Any... I, like... Give me an idea game. Give me an idea where I'm supposed to look. No. Love that for me. Not on this floor. Guess we're checking the next one. Should I go after the sobbing, maybe? Jesus. This has got to be one of the best psychological horrors I've ever played through. This truly gets under my skin. Interestingly enough, it kind of doesn't with me. Like, I don't know. So the thing is, like, why why I feel like it 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 doesn't really get under my skin is because, like, I'm I'm I don't feel connected to anyone. The whole situation seems very alien to me, and like the fact that most of the people you talk to are uh, speaking like talking in riddles doesn't really help it. I think we found it. Oh, someone's alive. Dude, okay, this is a fucking maze. I could spend my whole day in this thing, can I? Oh, Jesus fucking... I'm not into horror games at all, to be honest. Really? And the lantern goes like... Okay, dude. I, I kind of like horror games because they, they try to evoke some kind of emotion. And fear is one of the easiest to evoke emotions, so I, I kind of like it. I think I need to sleep before I, I, I continue to venture into this place. My exhaustion is fair, is, is like way too high. Leave me. Like that, that, I don't know, for example... For some reason Death Stranding really got under my skin. I, I, I can't even tell you, like, some, some things just get under my skin despite it makes, like, no sense that it, it does it. Like, that it happens. I don't follow, fully understand it. Like, I, I really, I really struggle or fail to make any emotional connection to the characters here. Empty. We might want to drink something. And uh, sort our items before we go have a bit of a sleep. Keep that slab of meat in our inventory. The army rations as well. 
Mm. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. I think three hours should be okay. Something new happens. I mean, we kind of saw with the screenplay, right? There was some kind of tank that someone was sitting on. I'm just not entirely sure how a cannon would help this situation at all. Why 936p? Um, because of the limited bitrate that uh, Twitch gives you. Like, it, it seems to be the sweet spot, apparently. To give you, like, the best possible quality. In which new blood is injected in the town, disturbing the old. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. The price of salt is going up. Good. Up. I know. People are hoarding it. The price of salt is going up. It's like we're at war. Kinda are, aren't we? And, um, apparently that seems to be the sweet spot with the quality. Okay. We should go to the hospital. The harm army is in town. We still want to get in the penitentiary again. Um, talk to Tai Chi's daughter. If we can ever find her. I mean, at least we know where she is. Like, where she isn't. Where she is not. Sounds bad. Ah, cool. Now there's soldiers everywhere. I'm not entirely sure if this would help you in any way, shape, or form. Question is, do they attack me? Does not seem to be the case. He's just chilling. Love to see that. I was just wondering about the odd number. It's some, some Twitch voodoo. <laughs> to be honest. Like, I'm not even sure if it does anything. I have a feeling that the like the stream looks better than in 1080p. But... In the end, I guess it's voodoo. Oh, hello there. Got a smoke, man. You roll it yourself. I don't smoke. Who are you anyway? A doctor. What ugly orders we have. Were artillery, the god of war, commanded by General Block himself, the man's legend. We were headed to the southern front, but they flung us here to fight the plague somehow. How do they expect us to fight it? We're not medics, we're artillery. Yes, your artillery is here, so you'll likely be ordered to level the town. Here's our theory. Our general, he's a thorn in everyone's side up there. I mean, people love him. He's an honest man, got a personal personal code. But in that hornet's nest, honest, fe uh, honest folks are hated. So the power that be sent us here to get sick and die. No, he was sent here to get his hands dirty. You planning to shoot us, your own people? If there's an order, but the general isn't a butcher, he cares about his people. Still, if he gives an order, we'll follow it, whatever it is. Well, at least that was an honest answer. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of what soldiers are about, right? They do follow orders. That's like the thing. Any chance you could send me a Twitch photo? Would like to use it as a reference? What do you mean my Twitch photo? Thank you for watching this episode of the Pathologic 2 playthrough. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button or check out a different video. A new video will be out soon. So thanks and have a great evening or day or morning or whatever time it is for you.